Okie dokie guys. You know, I was, uh, let's zoom in a little bit here. I was um, looking at a few um, reviews on this thing today just to see what's going on out there. You know, I've done review. I've done, I've looked at a lot of reviews on it. Uh, I liked it from the day that it came out. It's been out for a while now. I didn't buy one until just the other day. However, um, I really didn't want to buy it until I've actually had a chance to try it and run one. Uh, I did have a chance to run their 9. Uh, I liked it. I liked the trigger on it. This is the 40. About the same. Now, I decided I wanted to look at a couple reviews. I had nothing else to do, so I'm sitting here and I go to a couple reviews. And uh, I go to some of the, what they call the breakdown, field strip, stuff like that. And I went to this one guy uh, that's on there that I sub actually. I don't do any uh, commenting unless I really feel a need to do it. But as a rule, I don't comment. Uh, sometimes when you start commenting on some of these gun pages uh, or gun channels, uh, it leads to an all-out war because a lot of gun owners are tunnel visioned and, and just stuck on their own track and they can't comprehend anything else that goes on around them so that's where they are you know for instance when I developed that gun lock and I did a video on it some time ago um, and they said uh, somebody left a message well, a locked firearm is no good to anybody. Blah, 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 blah. Safety, salary, and all this kind of crap. Typical idiot, you know, in my opinion, because he doesn't know. First of all, the laws are different in every state. Here in Connecticut, you can't transport a rifle to the range unless it's locked. It either has to be locked up, trigger, action, slides, whatever you want to call it, or the case that it's in has to be locked. That's all there is to it. So now we got this jackass out there saying, whoa, whoa, locked up firearms, no good to anybody. You know, your safety, Sally, uh, what the hell did you invent the lock for? You know, you see what I mean? Because they're stuck on that one track. They don't know. They, they don't see anything else that's going on in, in, in real life. You know, gun owners are their worst, their worst enemies. All right. I don't consider myself a, a typical gun owner. I really don't. But meanwhile, this one guy was doing a review on this thing, and he was making this thing a nightmare to take apart. If I watched that review before I bought this gun or even thought about buying this gun, I would have never bought this gun. Because he was so set on comparing it to another firearm that he likes, which is also a good firearm, by the way, um, that he wasn't paying attention to what he's doing and he's sitting there fumbling with this thing and he can't get the slide off he's pushing the little button down in here well that button is so that you can take the action basically out of the gun this is a module gun you pop that push this push this through pull it out the piece comes out you put it inside a new frame if you want so if you want a, a blue frame purple frame whatever you want if they make a frame for it in that color you can do it and that's kind of how it works. Um, if you want to paint the frame, you don't have to worry about it. Take everything apart, you have just the frame. The inner is what's actually numbered. The frame isn't. So it's a module gun. But meanwhile, he's going through all this crap trying to get this thing apart. He's pushing this button in. He's pushing this one in. He's pulling it out. He can't get the slide off it. He's popping the trigger. He's doing one of these like you do with a Glock. You know, he's going through this thing and he cannot I said you know now this guy's a smart guy you know uh, he's a sig well he likes sigs all right you know and he's actually a big guy into uh, hand, uh, revolvers he's a big revolver guy but meanwhile uh, he's not a he's a Beretta fan I'm not gonna say he's not but he wasn't he's too busy comparing it let's put it that way then to pay attention so meanwhile I pick it up and I look at it. Now, first thing you always do is you always make sure it's empty. All right, it's empty. Mags out. I I just racked it. All you gotta do is push this button in. Now it's a little stiff. I'm not gonna say it's not. You know, it's not easy. 
you know, so you got to push that button. And now with me, I have to use my thumb because right now it could be this newness. When I do that, I turn this down, just like this lever, just like any other of their firearms. But I can do it with my finger. This one I can't right now. Once you've got that, you hold it, you pull the trigger, the slide comes off. So it's just a matter of pushing a button and putting the lever down and the slide comes off. You don't have to do anything to put it on other than put it on its track. And by the way, they're full tracks, which is great. I like a full track. Rack it and it's on. You don't have to fire around with this slide or the buttons or the mag release. You just slide it on. And like I say, I like the full slides because with the full slide, well in this case, this side's about two and a half inches plus like a one inch here. Over here, it's about a four and a half, five inch slide, give or take. Um, but it's not like Glock. I hate Glock. That's why there's to it. Um, Glock has a little slide here, a little slide there, a little one over here, a little over here. Come on. You know? <coughs> I'm just not into all that. But meanwhile, like I say, something as simple as can be. Pull it back. Don't pull the trigger. Don't release anything. Push this in with your finger, or in this case, my thumb. Pull this lever down. Pull the trigger. Comes off. Now, it's really easy. If I was able to do this with my finger, it'd be easier yet. Um, but again, like I say, I just haven't got enough strength in this finger. I guess it's something to do with age. I don't know. Uh, I guess I could if I wanted to kind of push down on this side a little bit. But, you know, uh, it may uh, loosen up a little bit over time. I don't know. But it's a simple. All right. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Push it up. Push it down. Pull the trigger. Take it off. Yeah, I just used my other hand. There. I'm pushing it up with this finger. Push it up. Push this down, hold it, pull the trigger, take it off. Rack it, it goes right back together again. Anyway guys, so much for that. I wasn't here to give you an education on it. I just let you know that if you are looking at one of these guns, they break down just as easy as any other of the Berettas. So don't worry about it. The Storm could be a little bit of a pain in the ass because of the barrel. But other than that, uh, it, it's easy. It re they really are. So, uh, if you see somebody pushing buttons and going through all this crap, you don't have to do that. So, um, so don't let that shake you or steer you away from uh, thinking about buying one. All right, I will try to get the camera to the range, but right now I'm going to go outside and do a little work. I'm going to probably hit the range tomorrow. Uh, they're talking to getting really hot the next few days. Uh, they were talking hundreds on the shoreline, but they did change it and said 95. <laughs> uh, so I can see it's going to be a good week. All right, I'll be back.